question 13. The frequency table shows the max distribution of a class of 30 students in an examination. The mean mark of the distribution is 52. A part of the question, find the value of S and Y. B, construct a group frequency distribution table starting with a lower class limit of 1 and a class interval of 10. C. Draw a histogram for the distribution. D. Use the histogram to estimate the mode. Solution. Part A. In order to find S and Y, we have the table in this form. The max, therefore S, the frequency is F. The mean is given to you because we are asked to find S and Y. Let's look for FS. That is multiplying S by F. 10 times 1 is 10. 2, 20 times 1 is 20. 30 times S, 30S, and so on. Summation means we have to add. So if you add all the, if you add the column for frequency, you have 16 plus S plus Y. You add the column for FS, you have 900 plus 30S plus 50Y. From the question, the mean S bar is equal to 52. There are 30 students. That means sum of frequency is 30. It follows that from this place, 16 plus S plus Y is equal to 30. If you transfer 16 over, you have S plus Y equal to 30 minus 16. And you have S plus Y equal to 14. Let's call that equation 1. From the means formula, the mean is 52 summation of fs is 900 plus 30s plus 50y and summation of frequency is 30 to clear fraction multiply 52 by 30 and you have 52 times 30 equal to 900 plus 30s plus 50y you multiply you have 1560 equal to the right hand side if you transfer 900 over you have 1560 minus 900 equal to 30s plus 50y and you have 30s plus 50y equal to 660 divide through by 10 you have 3s plus 5y equal to 66 you have equation 2 you have to solve both equations simultaneously for s and y so you have equation 1 equation 2 i want to eliminate y first to do that this y needs to be 5 so you multiply through equation 1 by 5 and you have 5s minus 5y equal to 70 let's call that equation 3 to eliminate y you subtract equation 3 and 2 side by side so you have 5s minus 3s you have 2s 5y minus 5y is 0 70 minus 66 you have 4 the verbal side by 2 s is equal to 4 over 2 and that is 2 to get y you simply replace s with 2 in equation 1 you can as well use equation 2 equation 1 is this and s is 2 you have 2 plus y equal to 14 collect like terms y is equal to 14 minus 2 and that is 12 therefore S is equal to 2, Y is equal to 12. Then B part, 
you are to construct a grouped frequency table with lower class limit of 1 and class interval of 10. So from 1, you move to 10. From 10, you have 11. So from 1 to 10 now. So if you add 1 to 10, you have 11. So you keep on adding 10, 10, 10 all through. 1 to 10. You add 1 to 10, you have 11, 21, 31, and so on. Then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and so on. If you check now, difference between 11 and 1 is 10. Difference between 20 and 10 is also 10. If you take it row wise, you have 999. Nine, nine. So it's always equal. Now to have the frequency, you replace S with 2 and Y with 12. To plot the Histo to to plot the histogram we need class boundary to get class boundary you have to get the boundary value first the boundary value is difference in adjacent side divided by 2 you can take 11 and 10 difference is 1 21 and 20 difference is 1 31 and 30 difference is 1 divide 1 by 2 you have 0 0.5 so you have the lower class limit to get the lower class boundary you subtract the boundary value 0 0.5 from the lower class limit so you have 1 minus 0 0.5 you have 0 0.5 11 minus 0 0.5 you have 10.5 and so on to get the upper class boundary, you add the boundary value to the upper class limit. So 10 plus 0 0.5, you have 10.5. 20 plus 0 0.5, you have 20.5. 19 plus 0 0.5, you have 90.5. So we plot the histogram what you plot is the upper class boundary against frequency against frequency so let's see to that so you can see the the histogram on display like i said you plot the upper class boundary against frequency against frequency now the frequency the scale used here is one centimeters to one unit so if here is one you have five one here becomes two this is three you have four you have five and six so in in order not to have too many points on the on the on the graph so i skip them but i just explained that they are there so we start from 0 0.5 yes because the bar they are joined to together the first bar start from the first lower class boundary down this way so you have 0 0.5 to 10.5 then 10.5 to 20.5 to 30.5 and so on so you have 0 0.5 here is 10.5 this is 10.5 you have 20.5 you have 30.5 you have 40.5 and so on so the first one frequency is one so this is one you so you trace one from 0 0.5 to 10.5 that is the first bar now the second bar is the frequency is one also so you have 10.5 so 20.5 so the bars are joined together in a, in a histogram the next frequency is 2 that is 20.5 to 30.5 from 20 you move to 30 the next frequency is 5 that is 30.5 to 40.5 that is what you have here the next frequency is 12 and that is 40.5 to 
0.5 to 50.5 next frequency is 1 you have 4 3 and 1 now to get the mood from the histogram you look at the tallest bar so the tallest bar you join the edge of it to the edge of the other bar that is lower to it from both sides so you join this edge to this edge and you join this edge to this edge at the point of intersection of the two lines you trace down to the upper class boundary now this will happen we have done that now from 40.5 to 50.5 you have five lines in that place and the difference is 10 that means each line is 2 so if you have 40.5 the next line becomes 42.5 and the next line is 44.5 that is where the line that that runs down falls on 44.5 that is the second line from 40.5 therefore the modal mark is 44.5 so this is how you estimate the 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 mode using histogram using histogram note you always plot the upper class boundary against frequency but you join the first lower class boundary against the first upper class boundary and continue in that manner to plot the frequency then you locate the tallest bar and join the two edge to the two lower bar at the point of intersection you trace down and you read off the mode from that point to end this year while past questions and detailed solution there is every need for you to be safe if you are not to do that you simply give your life to the one that can save you and that is the lord jesus christ and confess him as your lord and personal savior every day of your life if you are saved already congratulations live righteously and be prepared because on the last day some will be taken and some will be left take good care of yourself stay out of trouble study your books do the needful at all times flee every appearance of evil don't defraud others to make money use your hands and your brain to work genuinely and legally and the lord will bless you goodbye and stay tuned